Stadium here in Miami. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Miami Dolphins. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Miami. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Throwing to start here is Tua. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Cook. Not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? Second and goal from the six this time. Now Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. In motion left is Davis. Alert! Allen now on third and goal. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis from six yards away. And the Bills use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Berrios now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, not exactly the way they drew up the start of this one, but a chance to redeem themselves and hit the reset button here on their second possession. And I do like that word that you just used, reset, right? In a lot of ways, it's just shaking off what happened before, starting fresh, almost like it's your first drive all over again. Go out and put your best foot forward. Now a second and ten. Help. Throwing now is Tunga Mailoa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. Now inside the 25. Jalen Waddle. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle. 78 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here. They are in for six. We'll go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now Allen throwing on second down. Swinging this out right here for Cook. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Allen going to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Now Allen again. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. Cook up the gun. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. From the 35, here's second down and eight. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bombing him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Allen off the play fake. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. Cook is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That backs him at one yard and brings up third down. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Seven, seven, our score after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two, as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Khalil Shakir from four yards out, and the Bills have taken the lead. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. It 
Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things, and it won't come back and hurt them later. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill, and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, a run by Achan. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. This will be caught at about the six. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. HN gets it from the gun, and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Third down and one. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And they will take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from taking the lead. On third down, it's short and everything well executed. He not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering what I'm gonna get. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. So first and 10 now from the 30. After the turnover, it's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And down inside the 15 he goes. 
17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Now A-Chan on first and 10. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Second and five from the eight. Tua sets up to pass it. This will be caught at about the five. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do it. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. Alec Engel taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins had six to their lead. But nothing complicated about that. That's old school power football. And effective. And that's the key to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is up to eight. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And they will set up shot.